What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. I want to thank you all really quickly because our channel has grown recently. There are now a total of a whopping three subscribers, I believe, at the time of me recording this video. So thank you all very much for that. With that in mind, if you enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you wish. Getting right into today's topic. So I have a Dragon Ball Z booster box. And if you are a subscriber to the channel and you've seen some of my older videos, you notice that we've opened some of these packs before. And if you saw my most recent video, the CGC graded card return, you know that I opened or I picked up a second Dragon Ball Z booster box. And we are actually going to open one of these on camera over the course of a couple videos. That way I'm not just, you know, dumping all my money at once. Now in the decision to figure out which box to open there are a couple things that went into play so this box the edges and corners aren't like incredibly sharp and it's a little like it looks like it's been a little bit compressed however there are no tears in the seal um and everything pretty much looks squared away now this one on the other hand there is a little tear in the seal that happens with booster boxes i mean this thing's like 20 some years old there's also a sticker mark there and the flap sort of hangs over the edge, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, there's also some like compression damage up here just from where it's been. Things have been on top of this box for over 20 years. So these things do happen. It's not like this has been, I don't suspect that this has been tampered with. I actually purchased both of these boxes from the same seller. So, and I might look to buy more in the future. But before we actually get started, I'm trying to keep this brief. So thank you all for bearing with me. But these are some of the cards that we could pull from these boxes. The pictures just sort of go through all the different eras and periods of time within the Dragon Ball Z series. So this is when Vegeta and Nappa show up. They've been officially defeated now. This is on our way to Planet Namek. Android Saga, Cell Saga, and then here are some more Prism cards that we could pull. Hopefully not duplicates of, but I'm sure it'll happen. Now ultimately, here is what we would like to pull. A gold card. This one in particular is called Goten's Training. The gold cards in this set are very awesome, and I would love, I think there's three, and I would love to pull all three of them. So that's what we're going here, folks. Whew, I'm nervous. I guess there's no turning back at this point, so let's just dive straight into it. I do have a knife here to crack the seal on this guy. I haven't really considered how I'm going to break the seal on this, but I guess we'll just make a cut and tear right into it. Wow, there is officially no turning back. 20 plus year old Dragon Ball Z booster box. There's the wrap. And here it is, wow. This is wild. So I guess this sort of folds up. It's like a wall hanger, that's interesting. Neat. Okay, let's see actually how this opens. I know there's perforations here but I would rather not bust this open because I love the artwork. So it looks like there is a little flap up here. Oh, look at that. And there's all the packs. Let's just dump all these out. Let's see sort of how many there are, and that will dictate how many videos we get to make. Okay, so we've just got stacks of packs here. That is awesome. Look at those, all right. So let's find out how many, let's make sure they're even. Wow, way off. Okay, so now let's see how many are in a stack. Multiply by two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it looks like there's a total of 24 packs per, per box. Uh, that's a good amount. So let's try one, two, three, four, five, six today. We're gonna get into six of these things. Um, this is kind of wild. I can't believe I'm, I can't believe we are really doing this. Uh, so, geez, sorry if I'm a little bit stuttery here, but this is nerve wracking for me. This is going to be one of the biggest openings I've done in quite a while. I guess let's get right into it. Here's our first pack. I'm going to set our gold card in the back for good luck. I do have sleeves on standby in case we pull anything good. All right, pack number one of the box. All right, now here's the thing about these cards. 
So there's always one facing the wrong direction and that is going to be our prism card. So we'll set that in the back and we'll just work our way up to it. Now I am going for a binder set of this, so any new cards that we get are gonna be outstanding for me. Sun Goku, this one's new. Super Saiyan Goku. Got Gohan. Ooh, nice, Goku versus Nappa. Goku versus Vegeta. Got the Kaioken. Vegeta. Gohan and Piccolo. Frieza. Ooh, and another one. Okay, now for our first prism of the pack, or of the box. <sighs> Trunks versus Cell. This is so cool. If you didn't know, Trunks is my absolute favorite character from Dragon Ball Z. Um, man, I feel like I made the right choice by opening this box now. <laughs> the box is speaking to me. Okay, so let's leave this guy up right away. Well, let's check out condition. Nice. Okay, so a little bit of whitening on the edges, but that's to be expected. The big thing on these cards is sometimes up top there's like excess cardboard. So that's what we're going to have to look out for when it comes to condition on these guys. All right, pack number two. I'll go a little bit faster through the base cards just, you know, because we, we sort of know what to expect now. Right, let's figure out. I think that this is going to be our prism. All right, so we'll set him in the back. Ooh, Goku has the heart virus. Wow, Vegeta and Android 18. That's really cool. Kami and Piccolo. Krillin and Android 18. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? Uh, Grand Kai. Krillin. Very cool. All right. Bulma. And that's our last one. Okay, going into our second prism card. Ooh, nice. We've got a Goten. That's a great card. Look at that. Wow. Very cool. All right. I guess we better have more sleeves handy. That's awesome. Let's check out the back really quick. Some excess cardboard up top. That's still not very bad, though. Awesome. All right, Goten, you can hang out there. Now, it's kind of nice getting a prism in every, in every pack. What stinks is getting duplicates. So, if you give me a second, I'll show you the card that I probably pull the most. So, just right off, I have my collection next to me, but this card haunts me in our last series of openings for these packs when i first like started recording videos of me opening products i pulled that card probably a thousand times and i only had well i probably pulled it like six times out of 12 packs so it was it got pretty annoying but still a neat card all right here we go krillin trying to finish off vegeta okay goku in the hospital kami that's a great card look at that Got Piccolo powering up a special beam cannon. Gohan. Gohan's real pissed. And Piccolo launching the special beam cannon. And Frieza sliced up. All right. And for our third prism card. Ooh, this is a duplicate, but it's not a bad one to have. So this is Goku and Cell right before he uses instant transmission to send Cell to King Kai's planet, I believe. A little bit of whitening on the bottom. That's not ideal. And excess cardboard up top, but that might brush off. I'll mess with that later. So very cool. You know, if I'm going to get a common, this is not a bad... Or if I'm going to get a, a duplicate, this is not a bad one to have. So I'll take that. This is a neat card. All right. So I'll just set my duplicates over here. It looks like we've still got three packs. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking with it. Um, if you've enjoyed any of the cards we've pulled so far, go ahead and leave a like down below. And maybe let me know which one is your favorite so far. Or if you're familiar with the art box products, what cards are you hoping we do pull? All right, so it looks like... Man, I'm really good at turning them upside down. Oh, neat. So Captain Ginyu. We've got Krillin, Gohan, and Ginyu and Goku's body. <laughs> Captain Ginyu. Oh my gosh. 
right? We've got Toad Ginyu. Noticing a pattern here. The four Kais. Krillin and Gohan. Kiwi. Dodoria. I actually had these last two cards when I was a kid. Ooh, and Trunks versus Cell. That's awesome. Heck yes. You know what? Trunks, you're awesome. You're going to sit in the back. Okay, and our fourth Prism card. Cell doing the Kamehameha. This is another duplicate, but again, not a bad one to pull. I am not upset about this duplicate. Let me grab a sleeve really quick. So I'm using dragon sleeves for these. Um, looks like my dog decided to get a squeaky toy right on cue. All right, um, dragon sleeves just look cool because it's like a matted background. So there it is. I decided not to go cheap for these. Actually, the funny story is I was checking out um, at the grocery store and I noticed in the clearance bin there was a box of dragon sleeves so I thought they were on clearance but when I rang them up they were still like nine dollars so oh um you don't know what that means so I'm just gonna set that there but note that that's different a different back than normal okay oh man I'm pumped oh geez you guys have no idea what you're about to see we've got Vegeta Birder Jace Ginyu's butt we've got Goku versus Ginyu Got Piccolo's Spacecraft, Gohan, Krillin versus Gohan. We've got Vegeta and the Incubator. My friends, fasten your seatbelts. We pulled a duplicate of Goten's training. Holy cow, we hit a gold card. A gold card has officially been pulled. Wow, you are seeing double here, folks. This is outstanding. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. It looks like the centering might be a little bit off compared to my one in the sleeve. That is so freaking cool. Holy cow. Just look at like the look at the the edging here. It's like an Egyptian rug or something like that. That is so cool. Wow. Now, our gold cards are always going to be a little bit of a spoiler because the backs are different. And I knew that this was the same back as that card, so I assumed that this was going to be Goten's training, but I didn't know if the backs are just generally the same. Holy cow, we did it. Look at how glossy that is. And if you look carefully on uh, Gohan's like wristbands, there's prism foiling there. Sorry, my dog is barking right now. We have one pack left. I'm going to crack into this before he continues to bark. All right, wow, we pulled a gold card. It does not get much better than this, folks. All right, we'll set our last card of the day in the background. We've got Frieza. This is always my one of my favorite forms of Frieza. Piccolo versus Frieza. I always thought this one was cool too, but he looks very like monkey-ish, so not a very popular form. Ooh, that's, that's sad. Nice, look at all that. <laughs> Everyone's just trying to thrash Nappa. Yeah. Gohan's trying to get the best of him as well. We've got Sad Piccolo. We've got Frieza in his final form. Frieza smashing Piccolo. And our final prism of the day, it's looking like... Wow, the Z soldiers. Look at that card. Holy cow. How cool is that? I don't think that we could have had a better start to this box. So in today's video, just to recap, here are, here are the non... Well... You know, we have to pay tribute to Trunks. But here are the non-duplicates that we pulled. We've got Trunks versus Cell, the Z Soldiers, and Goten. And then we pulled, and I forgot to sleeve it, a gold card, Goten's Training. Wow. All right, folks, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you made it this far so you can enjoy this moment with me. Um, we are going to split this video or this box into four different parts probably just so I can get the most, you know, value out of it. Um, obviously with three subscribers, I'm not making money recording these videos or anything, but I just like to relish this vintage product. So thank you all very much. And I hope to see you next time.